If there's one thing you've seen enough of on this channel, at least for a minute, it's probably my desk setup. I've gone over it loads of times and I thought this time it might be nice to look at your desk setups, but more specifically to look at desk setups that are powered by or feature an iPad. So I reached out on Twitter and on Instagram and you all sent me a bunch of submissions, which I was really happy to see. And I thought perhaps I can give some advice or some tips and tricks or something like that along the way. And yeah, I think it'd be really fun. So this first submission is from Christopher Lawley, who's another iPad YouTuber and if you haven't checked his stuff out you really should he does lots of deep dive stuff but this setup is absolutely gorgeous and thanks Chris for sending in the HDR photo so we can see outside the window really nicely this setup is is pretty complete it looks like there's a Grove made desk shelf there the monitor itself looks like the Apple studio display which is absolutely gorgeous I'm really tempted to get one myself and it looks like the iPad is a 11 inch it's actually really hard to tell I want to say 11 inch but it could be a 12.9 sitting on the same stand that I have, the Charge M Pro one, which is absolutely awesome. Chris will know and he'll probably tell you that that's a great stand as well. But yeah, this is a lovely setup. Big desk mat, which is always really nice. Some F1 stuff as well, which is cool. Nice to see the Mercedes car there. And there's some Lego Star Wars stuff as well. You know what? I've never been huge into Star Wars, but um, little things like this, I can always appreciate. It always adds that little bit of personality to a desk setup. Love the lamp on the side, and I love the AirPods Max there on the right too. Overall, this is a gorgeous setup, and I could see anybody loving this. So nice one, Chris. I know you probably use the iPad way more than I even do. Yeah, great setup. This next one is from Victor. This one came from Twitter, and this is a really nice setup as well. Super clean. Love the green tones in this and the green painted wall. That's actually really nice and it matches up nicely with the plants you've got going on too. Cool coffee cup as well, I like that a lot. And this looks like it's being powered by Stage Manager as well, which is really nice. Oh yeah, I can just see a cable running out on the right there. Super nice, looks like you've got the Logitech MX Master. Great mouse, can't go wrong. Everyone uses one for a reason. We've got some AirPods Pro on the side there and what looks like an AirTag on some keys. This is a gorgeous setup, nice wallpaper selection as well that kind of really bounces off your background. The dual HomePod minis are really cool. So I've seen some other people do that and I've always been tempted, but the speakers I've got are really good and I always have this weird lag thing with, with uh, HomePod minis. So I've never really been that into it. But it looks like a Kindle Oasis as well and an iPhone XS or something, 10s maybe, I'm not sure. Yeah, this is a gorgeous setup. I, d I don't know what else I could really add. I mean, I know I find it tough to be without a MacBook to do everything I do, but this is a gorgeous setup. And I think this is pretty much how Apple intended the stage manager to work. Good stuff, this is awesome. Next up is one from Diamond Cloud, and this is a nice and clean setup as well. First off the bat, I've got to say the original Mac poster in the background, really, really cool, absolutely love that. And you've got the Alex Draw on the right too, love that. And again, the MX Master is there, the MX Master keyboard and the Logitech MX Master mouse, so good, can't go wrong. In the middle there, it's like a HomePod and some AirPods, which is nice. And obviously your iPad Pro on the left, which is looking good in the Apple Magic Keyboard. Hard to go wrong with the Apple Magic Keyboard. They do add a lot of bulk, but I'm using one right now and they're pretty epic. This again, super clean setup. It's hard to see the rest of the room, but um, yeah, I don't think I could really add much to this. It looks like a standing desk as well. I'm not huge into standing desks, I'll say that. I haven't actually tried one, so complete hypocrite, but again, another nice setup, good stuff. Okay, moving on now to one from James May, and this setup is the dual iPad setup. This is incredible. I've never seen anyone with two iPads before. It feels a, a bit much, but hey, if it works, it works. I'd love to know what you use both of them for. Maybe you could let us know in the comments below if you end up watching this video why you have two, or, uh, or if you use one for something or the other. It looks like an iPad 8th or 9th gen on the right, and then on the left there, You've got the iPad Pro in the Charge N Pro stand again. That's the second appearance of that. Great stand, can't go wrong. Apple Pencil sitting on top too, which is lovely. This setup looks like it's been run by a Mac or a MacBook somewhere. Um, I can't see it anywhere on the picture, so I imagine it's hiding away underneath somewhere. Again, we're seeing the MX Master again and the MX Master keyboard. I've also got the trackpad. The trackpad is actually really, really good for using an iPad as well. As for advice, perhaps you could do some stuff on the wall, like some pictures or something like that, but um, I can't see your whole setup, so it's kind of hard to tell. But yeah, this one's really nice as well. Good job, James May. This next one is from the Exodus Boy, and this is a really small, but actually a really nice setup. It looks like a MacBook Pro is once again the kind of powerhouse behind the setup because it's the main one there. And it looks like the iPad is being used for some form of, 
I'd love to tell you, but I don't know. It looks like you're learning something and using the Apple Pencil to do so, which is really cool. Love the keyboard, that looks like a Logitech one with the circle kind of pads, really like that. Super nice, super clean. Love the plant on the side as well, even though it is a fake one, which is still nice. And you've got the bulb, which is given a bit. Oh, and behind that bulb is a little HomePod Mini. Very cool. I love how your ring light is just being held off the curtain. That's great. I mean, if it works, it works, right? And there's a big old webcam on top of your Mac as well, which is probably better than the built-in one by a long shot. And an RGB microphone. I think it's RGB, it looks it. And uh, that's, that's quite extreme, I guess, if you do a lot of live streaming or if you're doing a lot of chatting on uh, webcam and web calls, it makes a lot of sense. The only thing I'd do here really is maybe tidy up the cables a little bit and get them behind the curtain if that's possible and down the bottom left there, maybe tidy those up a little tad, but otherwise, this is really nice too. Lots of nice setups today. Next up is a setup from Kirsten from K Digital Studio, which is another YouTube channel which focuses on a lot of iPad stuff. So definitely check her out if you're not already. I'll link it below. First thing I'm noticing is the upside down MacBook Pro. I've seen quite a few people do this, and I guess it's to stop the fan from being blocked from those kind of uh, like clamshell holders, which I guess is fair enough. If it works, it works, but it always looks really odd, doesn't it? I kind of like when I had one of those, I always put my Mac in the right way up just because I hated the Apple logo <laughs> being the other way. That's connected to the Apple Studio display, not the Pro Display XDR, I don't think. That's looking really gorgeous. And what's even more gorgeous is that lock screen, that 11, 43 and 11 seconds. That's so cool. I haven't seen that before for the time. I'll have to check that out. On the right there, we've got the iPad Pro 12. I'm going to say 12.9 inch. It's hard for me to guess from these images. I kind of assume they are. That looks like the bigger one to me and it's there. A nice kind of clean wallpaper looking nice. Again, we're seeing Logitech stuff as well. MX Master makes its appearance and we've got the trackpad and the Apple Magic Keyboard. That looks like a sit-stand desk as well. Um, they're really popular. I, I guess I can see why, but yeah, that looks nice as well. And you've got the microphone there as well. I know you do a lot of live streaming, so having the mic on the arm is probably really, really easy and, and really, really useful. For the rest of the office, it's kind of hard to tell, but it looks like you've got some nice plants and stuff in the background looking really nice. I am surprised your desk setup isn't kind of like a, a, a white wood. That feels like it might match up a bit better, but yeah, this is a really nice setup as well. I'd love to know if you use universal control for your iPad or anything like that when you're using your Mac. So yeah, if you're watching, let us know in the comments below. Lovely stuff, thanks for submitting it. Up next is another Twitter submission from I'm Japo. Sorry if I'm getting your name wrong. I'm so sorry. I, I don't know how to pronounce half of these. And this again, a nice clean setup. And it looks like it's been powered by that MacBook. That seems to be a running theme. And the iPad is there on the side. I'd love to know what stand that is. That looks quite nice. You've got the Apple Pencil attached to it as well, which is the Apple Pencil Generation 2. I imagine this is a, I'm going to take a punt and say this is the iPad Air. It might not be, it might be a Pro. It looks like an iPad Air from here in black or space gray. Once again, the Logitech MX Master, it's got like a strangle hold on <laughs> people using these sorts of products. And I really like the lamp on the side. It's something I've wanted to incorporate in my desk for a long time as some sort of lighting, like a lamp or something like that, but I've never quite got it right, but that's looking cool. Got some nice artwork on the wall there. That one at the top left looks quite Japanese. It's probably something that I'd quite enjoy. But yeah, overall, this is looking good. I think this is another sit-stand desk. I'm not too sure. I like the desk mat as well. I've been looking for a really small one that's a bit higher quality than what I've got, so that looks nice. My only advice for something like this, maybe, I think you've got a bit of space on the desk there to add something a bit more personal. But otherwise, again, another really nice setup. Up next is one from Toby, and this one is running off an iPad entirely. It looks like it's just screen mirroring at the moment, so you're not using Stage Manager. Um, so you either don't have the iPad OS beta in, which is fine, which is totally understandable. Waiting for the full release is a good idea, or you might not have the M1 iPads. Either way, I hope you get it soon because it will make this experience way better for you. I like the mouse here. You've got the uh, trackball on top. I'd be interested to know what that's like. Is it helpful for your wrist or something like that? And some nice books in there as well. It looks like you've got Steal Like an Artist, which is a book I always recommend to people who are getting into kind of content creation and stuff. Great little book. Got the Bose speaker there. I know I've heard those at parties and stuff before. They're actually really decent. I love this notebook on like a riser on the left. That's really nice sitting next to your coffee cup there or your espresso cup, I guess. It's really small. As for advice, I'd potentially move the blackboard behind it somewhere else so you've got a bit of room to breathe. But yeah, nice. Next up is one from Bemo or Bemo. I'm so sorry if I'm getting your name wrong. This looks like another iPad completely powered setup. And it looks like you're running LumaFusion there with the kind of external monitor support. LumaFusion was one of the few apps that actually supported that external monitor support for quite a long time, but only in very specific situations. So it's nice to see someone actually making good use of that. And it looks like you're actually just using the iPad keyboard and the Magic Keyboard to do all of your work. And you've got the Apple Magic Mouse there too. 
Nice to see the iPod video on the side. I think that's a video. I used to have one of those when I was a bit younger. Um, nice little throwback sitting there on the riser. This is a nice and clean setup. I think overall you probably need an upgrade on the monitor if you can. It's looking a bit small and the bezels are pretty junky on that one. But I love to see an iPad powered setup. Awesome to see someone getting completely use out of it. So yeah, good job. We've got one from Adam, Adam Aperture. Sorry if I'm getting your name wrong. That looks like how you say it. And this one's kind of cyberpunk themed, which is totally fair enough. I played through cyberpunk and loved it. I kind of understand the aesthetic, even though it's not specifically for me. Looks like a MacBook Pro is running this entire scenario, a 16 inch by the looks of it. And it's one of the new ones. So that's awesome. I'm sure that's doing well for you. And this is the first instance we're seeing the iPad mini. Oh, bless it. Look how small it is. That's nice to see. I like the Apple Watch charger too. I was another HomePod as well. Sorry, I'm seeing loads of stuff all at once. And that mouse is tiny. There's that Logitech mouse there, another Logitech mouse. That one's really, really small. So um, I'd love to know if you get on all right of that. I'd find that after a while would, would kind of do my, do my wrist in. We've got some AirPods Pro on the right there too. And one of those anchor power backs. And yeah, a nice bit of RGB going on there. I'm not huge on RGB, when, but when you do it a bit more subtly, I don't mind it. If I had to give some feedback, um, maybe change that mouse up, but if it works for you, it works for you. And uh, move the bottle next time I take the picture. But yeah, there you go. I think that's about it. Next up is one from Solomon. And this one is a really nice kind of retro vibe to the whole thing, even though you've got the new MacBook Pro and obviously an iPad here on the left. That looks like an iPad, I'm gonna say 11 inch. I've no, that looks like a that looks like an iPad Air, yeah. I think it's an iPad Air. I love the chunky keyboard. I like uh, RGB that's just clean white, so that's really nice. And I love all these kind of Apple throwbacks. You've got two iPods there. One of those looks really original, which is cool. You know I love the IKEA pegboard. There's one over there, so it's nice to see that represented by somebody. And you've got some headphones and some tapes on there as well. I love it. I've got to point out the monitor in this one. This looks like one of the older kind of Apple cinema displays. I might be, I might be wrong. I might be totally wrong, but I think that's what it is. Nice to see that. I wonder how that's holding up because that must be quite old now and I'm sure your everything probably looks a bit better on the iPad screen and the MacBook screen. You've got a trackpad and a mouse there, which is interesting. So maybe you can let us know why you've got both below. I really like this setup. This looks like the corner of like a workbench or something. And I like the vibe. I'm not sure what these things are. It looks like audio things to the left of the iPods there. Nice bit of subtle RGB in the background too. Yeah, it looks nice. I don't think I've got any kind of specific advice here. While it's not something I would go for personally, I can totally see why people love it. And I love that about kind of setups in general is you can have such a different vibe to what's your own, but if it works for them and it looks clean like this one, yeah, I'm all for it. So nice job. Okay, and one last one while we're here. And this is from Fernando. So thank you for sending that in, Fernando. I know that you've been a long time iPad user. Nice to see a fully powered iPad set up. This is a 12.9 inch iPad with the Apple Magic keyboard attached to it. And I assume you're just using the trackpad there. I can't see a mouse or unless you've got it hanging around somewhere. You've got the Charge M Pro stand as well off to the left, which is doing nothing at the moment. So maybe move that out of the way. And you've got the iPod mini as well. That was actually one of my first iPods. So it's nice to see that. And you've got your phone stand there with the AirPods on it too. Super nice. And you've got, you've got these thing on the right with the iPhone 3G in the frame. And I've seen loads of people with those and I've got to admit, I'm not huge on it. And when I first saw them, I thought they were really cool. And then I kind of slowly went off and off and off them. I'm not sure why, but I like these dust shelves. This is looks like a Grove made one. I've got one as well. And a bit of RGB lighting at the background, just a touch. Always a fan of that. Nice to see. My advice here would potentially be to move your degree, if, if it's a degree from behind the monitor and put it somewhere else or award or whatever it is, perhaps put it on the right hand side. And if you're taking a picture of your setup, then move the empty stuff, so the stand and all that sort of thing. Cool to see a completely iPad power setup. And I think that's a Canoopsy wallpaper, which is looking awesome. Nice one, Fernando. Thanks for sending that in. Okay, so that rounds up all the setups I wanted to look at for this video. Thank you so much for your submissions and sorry I couldn't get to all of them. I'll try and get to them in another video if I end up turning this into a series. But that depends if you liked it or not. Let me know in the comments below if you did enjoy this. And if you did, then perhaps we'll see another one in the future. Anyway, pop a like on the way out, that'd be massive, and I will see you all in the next one.